And as earlier witnessed, it was a case of same script, different cast when the Director General of the National Youth Service and the concerned PS were arraigned in court today to answer to fraud charges. It is not the first time that corruption suspects have been charged and there have been a few convictions down the line, arguably for the so-called small fish. However, the follow-through has been locking and the biggest gap here has been the recovery of proceeds of corruption. And to be Olive Burroughs examines or explains what comes after the court parade. Many a well-heeled individual has been paraded in court on grand corruption charges. But once the initial outrage over the sums are accused of plundering fades, more often than not, they ride off into the sunset with their ill-gotten gains. Their public shaming in the courts and in the court of public opinion a mere inconvenience on the road to an image cleansing and rebranding as a wholesome member of society. Because I may say they may steal a billion, go in for three years or four years and maybe pay a fine of a, a billion shillings. After three years, which is not a long time, that's only 300 and... I don't know how many, how many months. It's very, actually, <laughs> it's a short moment. Then I just come and begin to enjoy my, my, the assets that I stole. When he took up office in March, Attorney General Kehara Karyuki pledged to streamline the asset recovery process. And there couldn't be a better time than now for him to prove himself. The asset recovery unit doesn't seem very keen in recovering these assets. And you, if you truly will help this country in the fight corruption that I had you speak against, the asset recovery unit is a key cog in that fight against corruption because we cannot continue uh, to be showing Kenyans that corruption is rewarding because I, I, I acquire property through corruption and I continue enjoying that property. Were this not the case, the chairman of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee of the National Assembly, William Chiptuma, submits it wouldn't have been a case of same script, different cast on Tuesday when 24 Kenyans were arraigned in the anti-corruption court for conspiring to defraud the state of hundreds of millions of shillings. We must come together to fight this vice if we are to conquer it. The government and the private sector also must report fraud, protect whistleblowers without the slightest hesitation. What public shows there have been of assets recovered are a drop in the ocean compared to the billions of shillings in taxpayer monies that are now fenced off as private estates. And while the parading of suspected tenderpreneurs might make for a good show, the true test of President Uhuru Kenyatta's commitment to justice for the Kenyan taxpayer lies in asset recovery. Olive Barrows, NTV.